Good morning and welcome to the Cathedral of the Holy Spirit on this beautiful Easter morning. Before we begin Mass today, I would like you to take a look at your, the pew where you hold the music part, where the hymnal can be found. You will find a card with the Mass setting on it, so you may participate with us this morning. Thank you. Our opening song is Jesus Christ is Risen Today. Number 401, please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Happy Easter. Happy. It's good that we are here. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. So uh... 
us pray. O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all people, but to us the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endures forever. 
Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Please join in singing the sequence on number 396. Christians to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ who only is sinless, reconcile sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus resurrection. Bright angels attesting the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. 
to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. The gospel may our sins be wiped away. In the 15th century, in Bavaria, in Germany, the people were quite weighed down by plagues and strife. They were losing hope. There were no smiles on their faces. And so the local bishops got together and required what's called the Risus Pascalis, the Easter smile, and asked all priests and preachers to do whatever they could to put a smile on the people's faces that Easter so they could smile through the weight of the reality around them. So let's try, shall we? Remember the story of George? George who took his whole family on a once-in-a-lifetime trip to the Holy Land. And tragically, while the family was there, his mother-in-law died. George went to the local undertaker and explained the terrible situation. And the undertaker then explained to him there in Jerusalem, he said, in order for you to transport her 
the body back to the United States is Trent, terribly cost, costly. It, it's probably somewhere around $10,000. But here in Jerusalem, he said, it's very inexpensive. We could have a burial right here in this holy place for about $500. George pondered a while and he said, spare no expense. Let's get her back to the United States. The undertaker said, George, you must have really cared for your mother-in-law. He says, oh no, not at all. You see, 2,000 years ago, a guy died here and was buried here. And he rose from the dead. And I'm not taking that chance. George believed. Once presidential candidate Mike Huckabee also was asked uh, if he believed in the resurrection. He said, of course I do. Here in Arkansas, dead people vote in every election. The resurrection is very real for us. The resurrection is real apart from, uh, thanks for smiling, by the way. If we can't smile today, we're doing something wrong or we're not understanding. This one thing, and I, the older I get, the more simple this whole thing gets. That the Easter message isn't, and I'm not boasting, by no means. But it's the one time where I feel the conviction to get up here and to say, like George, and like Mike Huckabee, I believe that Jesus rose from the dead, that he was real. And that that tomb could not confine them. I've been there. It's empty. And I believe that there was a dead body in there. And that body is alive. And has power over all darkness, all sin, and even death. I'm so glad I believe this. Because it changes everything. Everything changes. That darkness in my life. Jesus, your power and light here. That death in and around me. Jesus, your life here. The weight of life. Jesus, lift it up. You're alive. And you said you would. You said your yoke was light and your burden was easy. If we united ourselves to you and Jesus today, we can proudly profess you're alive. You died for me because you love me. And you rose from that tomb for me. You're alive. Then it doesn't matter what comes politically, personally, familially. Jesus, you're alive. He's not in a tomb. He is not there. He's here. The same power that he manifested that first Easter when he said, this tomb will not contain me. This death will not stop me. So too for us, brothers and sisters. I may be a bold claim. Not in pride. We don't do this in pride. Our faith is not our own. It was a gift given to us. But maybe you'll get the chance today with a smile on your face. Maybe if we see someone who's not smiling, you say, hey, I just want you to know I love you. I don't know you, but I love you. And I just want you to know Jesus is alive. That's all. And then run. <laughs> because one of the things we must do, if we have interiorized this, is we must spread it like those first apostles did. Holy smoke. He's alive with a smile. And that makes all the difference. So we are to proclaim that. But in order to proclaim it, we need to believe it. And so in order to believe it, we need to call upon that power and say, Jesus, this is where there's darkness. Shine your light here and here. Jesus, here's death. Emotionally, spiritually, physically, in my body. We're all dying. Bring your life into my organs and limbs and take that death of cancer away. Do whatever. Your power. Try it. 
And we got to run to him here every Sunday. Jesus, give me your power, your light in my life and the life around me. And then run off and tell people, Jesus is alive and he loves you. And he rose, died and rose for you and for me. That's the Easter message. I think it's worth smiling about. Happy Easter, dear believers. It's a good day. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? In all his works, in all his empty show, do. do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. I saw a water flowing from the temple, from its right hand side, alleluia. And all to whom this water came were saved, and shall say, alleluia, alleluia. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. I saw water flowing from the temple, from its right hand side, alleluia. And all to whom this water came were saved and shall say, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I saw water flowing from the temple, from its right hand side, alleluia. And all to whom this water came were saved, and shall say, Alleluia, Alleluia. In the light of the Paschal candle, which represents Jesus, who has conquered darkness, we now pray. That the resurrection of Jesus Christ will bring new life, hope, and zeal to the hearts of all the faithful, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For the newly initiated Catholics of our parish, that they will flourish as missionary disciples of Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Bianca Weisbeck, for whom this Holy Mass is offered, and for all of us here, that the Easter Alleluia will enlighten, strengthen, guide, and direct all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer mentally and physically will experience the healing power of Christ's resurrection, most especially those who have asked for our prayers, especially Clem Decker, Tyler Schwab, Colleen Manley, Shirley Hilsendigger, and Elisa Boraby. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased loved ones, may they be in the loving arms of our risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, Christ your Son is risen from the dead. May we rise with him, for Jesus is our Lord, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I invite our children forward for their collection. Please join in our offertory hymn number 416, Regina Celli. The first and third time through, the organ will play. The second time through, we'll sing in Latin. And the fourth time through, we'll sing in English. Regina Celi Letare Alleluia Qui aque meruisti portare Alleluia Resurrexit sicutixit Alleluia
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Except we ask, O oh Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Give praise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. I called to the Lord in my distress. He has answered and freed me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia, 
The nations all encircled me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They encircled me all around. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I was thrust down, thrust down and falling, but the Lord was my helper. The Lord is my strength and my song. He was my Savior. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore, let us keep the feast by sharing the unleavened bread of uprightness and truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our first communion hymn is number 806, Ave Verum Corpus, Hail True Body. The first time through will be in Latin, second time through in English. Number 806. <laughs>
Our second communion hymn is number 786, I Received the Living God, 786. Said I am the truth. If you follow. 
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our closing hymn, number 407, At the Lamb's High Feast. 407. Oh.